A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus summoned the twelve and said to them, You know that those who are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones make their authority over them felt. It shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We're reading this year from Mark's Gospel, and Mark's Jesus grows increasingly impatient with his disciples because however hard he tries to explain to them who he is, they simply don't get it. They are still have an image of the Messiah as a political Messiah, someone who is going to set them free from Roman rule. We run the same risk of having a mistaken image of who Jesus Christ is. The problem is we were taught our religion as children. And when I talk to children, I speak in childlike terms. And we have to be very careful that our image of Jesus Christ is not stuck in that childlike image. Jesus is all embracing, all welcoming, all forgiving, all healing, but he also challenges you and me to be better than what we are. He's not some type of a magician who just snaps his fingers and does whatever we tell him. In prayer, we don't go to God saying, I figured this out. If you do this, this, and this, everything will be perfect. Prayer is not trying to change the mind of God. Prayer is trying to know the mind of God. What does God want me to do in this particular moment? Amen.